Hamtech, welcome back to my drone learning videos. Let's update the firmware on our new Mini 5 Pro using the DJI Assistant 2 with either Windows or Mac. So I'm on Windows, but you just select here. The link is in the description. Windows, click XE. I've downloaded the XE just here, and then we're just going to run that. Just do the usual OK, and then next, next, next until you get to the end. Accept the terms. Quick launch shortcut. This window appears. You're going to agree to the terms. And I'm just going next, next, next. Then plug in your drone, or we've got it here in my hand my RC2 as well. I'm going to do one at a time. So you want a data cable, so you, I would use the cables that um, DJI give you, but straight into the USB, obviously turn it on, like so. And a pause, and then the device will appear. Click it, and I did update this yesterday, so it might be okay, unless there's been some new updates. Yes, current. And sometimes you can actually roll it back, but that looks fine. Uh, but if it wasn't, you would just go update and it would just do it, do it for you. Let's unplug it. Let's plug it into my RC2. I'll try and find something I haven't updated yet. So there's my RC2. Click. Again, current. Let me find something else. Let's do my N3. I'm pretty sure I've got two of these that need to be done. Just plugged it in. There's the N3 there. Turn it on. And I would update all your apps because since the 5 Pro's come out, the DJI Fly app's been updated as well. And I'll put the links in where you can update the Android and the iOS. With Android, I tend to download straight direct from DJI. With iPhone, I, I can just use the app. But, you know, try both. Oh, that's up to date as well. So, yeah, it's quite good that everything's up to date. I've got my Air 3S here, which is basically a big version of the, if you ask me, a big version of the, of the new 5. And I've plugged that in. It's a beast, isn't it? See what it says. Right, that's plugged in. See what it does. All up to date. Wow. Um, so yeah, I've been good and but yeah, it's always good to keep these things up to date. Same goes for the DJI Fly. So I'll put this link in and look, you've got the DJI app software and products. You've got iOS and Android here. Of course, just use your phones. But if you don't need to, look, you've got the links here. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.